After Jesus rises from the dead on the third day, he appears to women. He talks to two of his disciples and he explains them by the Old Testament scripture that everything what happened to him must have happened to him. We are reading Luke's Gospel, chapter 24. Look. After Jesus died, he rose again. It says here he's alive. He met with two of his disciples and they went to tell the others. They couldn't recognize him. Stefan Hager, Switzerland. Late summer 2020. Hutwil, the town I was born. And I'm closing the Injil reading on this special monument here where people have laid down their lives and they died. But none of them, my dear friends, none of them in Hotville in this town had actually risen from the dead. Only one rose from the dead 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, not just the prophet, but your Lord and Savior. Verse 36, you may read in your Arabic, Urdu, Amharic, French Bible, it doesn't matter. I read New International Reader's Version and it's based on the Textus Receptus from the first century, which journalist Luke gathered from people, eyewitnesses, and wrote it down so that you and I would believe. Verse 36, the disciples were still talking about this. When Jesus himself suddenly stood among them, he said, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. Jesus said that. He did not want his disciples to be afraid and think they saw a ghost or something strange. But actually he wanted to give them confidence. Us. He is the risen Lord. Look at this, what it says. Jesus said to them, why are you troubled? It's written here. Why do you have doubts in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is really I. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have body and bones. But you can see that I do. Jesus talked to them. After he said that, he showed them his hands and feet. But they still did not believe. Why? Look. They were amazed, and at the same time they were filled with joy. I'm so happy Jesus, my Lord, is alive. So Jesus, look, ask them, do you have anything here to eat for me? Just like I eat something, it makes me physical being. I'm using my body. Look at this. I can eat it, I can chew it. And I can taste it. It's for my body. So they brought Jesus a fish. Look what it says. He took it and ate it in front of them. Verse 44. Jesus said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. It was to prove that he was not a ghost. It, it was clear that they had not expected him to be raised from the dead. Despite all he taught them. Jesus told them many times. I will be persecuted by the Jews. They put a blasphemy case on me and they will punish me under the Roman law. That sentence and I will be crucified. And on the third day, I will rise again. Jesus told them, but the disciples wouldn't believe. Look, now he's eating the fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. Jesus said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Look, everything written about me must happen. Everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the Torah of Moses, the prophets, Ambia, and the Psalms, Zabur of Hazar Dawood, David. It must come true. It was all written in the Old Testament. 39 books. You can read it uh, today in the Old Testament. What happened to Jesus was to come through. Verse 45, we are coming to the end of the Injil, according to Luke. 
Jesus said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must happen. Verse 40, uh, 45, sorry. He opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. He told them, you read it yourself in the Bible. The Christ will suffer. He will rise from the dead on the third day. His followers will preach in his name. They will tell others to turn away from their sins and be forgiven. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ too. And I share in real the good news. So that you can turn from your sins, my friend, on Facebook and be forgiven. Jesus forgives everything you have ever done wrong. He forgives and he puts you right and clean before the Heavenly Father. So that one day you do not have to die and go to hell. But you have eternal life in heaven in the presence of God. And I'm telling this because it's a fact. I believe it a hundred percent. And you can too. That's what Jesus told his disciples about people 2,000 years later. Like myself and others who share the good news for you. It says here, they will begin at Jerusalem. And people from every nation will hear it. From Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from America, South America. Tribes, nations, people, languages. Scriptures translated, preached over the internet, over social media. Nowadays, more and more people hear about Jesus Christ and I can, he can forgive their sins. Biggest problem in this world is sin, the evil heart of human beings. And the biggest solution is forgiveness, which God gives because he loves us. He loves you and he loves me. So he says, I'm going, uh, you have seen these things with your own eyes, Jesus tells disciples. Look, I'm here, I'm eating and I'm alive. I'm going to send you what my father has promised, but for now, stay in the city, he said. Stay, stay in the town here until you have received power from heaven. What is that power? Jesus led his disciples out in the area near Bethany. He took them there. Then he lifted up his hands and he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them. He was taken up into heaven, alive. Allah took him. God took him up, alive into heaven with his new resurrection body. Look at this. The last two verses, 52 in Luke's gospel, chapter 24, it says, when they, then they worshipped him. He did not stop them from being worshipped. He knew there's only one God. Why didn't he stop them from being worshipped? What do you think, my dear friend? Some people do not believe that Jesus accepted worship. Some people do not believe that he says, I'm the son of God. Some people do not believe that Jesus really can forgive sins because they make him less than he is. Who would go up to heaven like this and say one day I'm coming back and it's 2,000 years and many are waiting and he's coming back soon. What happened in the story here at the end? With great joy they returned to Jerusalem. I'm also full of great joy just like the disciples because I know this is true and Jesus will indeed come back. Verse 53 the gospel ends every day look they went to the temple, praising God. So, every day they went to the temple, praising God. And now we have completed the record of Luke, Luke's gospel. Chapter 24, 53. Read it yourself and rejoice with me. Because Jesus is coming back. 
very, very soon indeed.